Her eyes flicked over at the leaning row of rifles and SMGs, and she picked out a Heckler & Coke 9mm. Good weight, short, a nice death-dealing compactness. She took it up, checked it, went back to the box, and tensely fingered through the jumbled mass of sticks, clattering them aside until she found two 30-slug curved mags. One she stuffed into a back pocket, the other she held against the gun, while she began cramming the fourth grenade into an already overstuffed pocket over her right breast. Suddenly, a pile of cans of food burst apart in a wild spray of tin, and the sticky erupted out of it. Christy's heart felt as if someone had just kicked it. She sprang back, dropping the grenade. She also dropped the second mag. The sticky came at her like a flying fury, and she had to dance away and flee back to the living area of the barn. Her right hand fumbling at the remaining mag jammed into her back pocket. It wouldn't come out. It somehow gotten entangled with a pocket lift. Christy yanked the mag, and it came out, tearing the pocket open at one side. Shit! But now she was all fingers and thumbs, and the mag would not slot in. The sticky jumped for her, and she felt its wind as she stumbled aside, saw the sucker pads of its right hand lunging at her. She raced away across the room, still trying to shove the mag into the SMG, but in her desperation only jamming it. Her heart was pounding like a trip hammer, and sweat was coming off her like glistening pearls. Adrenaline boosted her body, and desperation boosted her brain. In a microsecond, she took in the fact that one of the pillar supports that held up the upper chamber had heavy nails sticking out of it. Thrusting the mag between her teeth, she grabbed hold of one of the higher nails and thrust a foot at a lower one, the H&K stuffed under her left arm and held tight to her body. She began to pull herself upward. The nail heads were sharp. They tore at her flesh. She didn't give a damn, didn't even think about it. The fact that her fingers began to bleed and the nail heads became suddenly slippery merely acted as a further booster. She reached the second floor and rolled over onto what remained of the floor planks, just as the kill-crazy creature slammed into the pillar. She stared down at its fearsome, horrific ugliness as it too began to climb. She pushed herself up into a kneeling position and once more endeavored to cram the curved mag up into the SMG. But in her terrified haste, she fumbled more than before, and the mag suddenly became a living thing in her hand, flying out of her grasp. The sticky's head rose above the floor, and blindly she smashed the useless gun into its face, crashing the snub-nosed barrel repeatedly into one of its eyes and transforming it into a crimson jelly before the creature was jolted off its perch, tumbling back to the ground. Panic rose like nausea within her, and without thinking, she clutched at one of her grenades, yanking the pin just as the sticky leapt for the pillar again. Fuck you! She dropped the grenade on it and flung herself backward, scrambling as if demented away from the floor edge. The roar of the detonation nearly deafened her, and all at once the floor was rocking, then bursting apart, 